Okay, Mac users, I'm here to help you out with your Excel. So when you get to the point that you're creating your graph, so it doesn't matter if you're in Windows, Excel, a desktop version or online version, you can get to this part where you can do your equations. And you can also do your graph. But there are a few things that you need to do once you have your graph. So let's talk about a couple of them. Over here, I have series names, and I know a couple of people asked on the on campus not how do you get those series names. When you've done your graph and you have everything ready, all you have to do is go to the graph area and right click and put select data, and these are all your series. So if you want to change one, the name, you just click on it and you can just edit the name. So it's so in the name put H2MA, whatever you want to call it, and just say OK. You can change those series names to um, whatever you want. If you want to change it to something else. Um, you can say I'm bad. <laughs> Don't call your composition curve series that. But I'm just saying it's very easy to 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 do. Just right click, and that gives you gives you your menu. You can also change chart type if you find that you did the right the wrong chart. So y'all can see there's that just scatter plot. So click of a button, you can do what you need to do. Okay, so when you're doing that the quick design feature, things like that, your top menu, this is where you want to adjust formatting or chart design. So click on chart design, there's the quick layout feature and the add chart element. So as a Mac user, you're fine through through every part that a PC user is fine with the exception of exporting graphs as a PDF. It, even if you highlight on the graph it won't do it properly. If you want to insert a text box to mark your PKAs then um, file insert text box. You can do shapes too. So there's a dot. <laughs> So y'all can insert, you can insert dots, you can insert anything onto your graph. Now when you get to the point that you have put all your, your pieces in place, you've got your series labeled, you marked your PKAs, you put some kind of label on it, then highlight your graph, just press your mouse on the right hand corner or anywhere there's just a blank space. And then when you do file and you print, you can't, you've got print selection but it won't, it won't do it. So Mac is weird that way. So you do have one of the best tools available and that is to easily take a screenshot. I mean easy. So go put your cursor on the top, wherever left, wherever you want it, and on your keyboard press Command, Shift, and 4. And it's going to pop up that target looking window and then you're just going to drag and drop. Okay, now wherever you save your screenshots that's where your screenshot is going to go. So for me, I put mine in my Dropbox because that's where I like to put my screenshots. And then when I pop this open, I'm just going to export as PDF. Because remember, your graphs can only be uploaded as a PDF. And I'm going to put fractional comp one or a fractional comp. Name it whatever, put it someplace where you can actually get to it. Okay, save it. And now you have a PDF of, of your graph 
and if you want to put both of your PDFs in one document, and this is for Windows or for Mac. Since I'm on my Mac, I actually have to screenshot that sucker. Boom. Get it? Open up Word. If you want to put them in one document, then all you have to do is open up a Word document and take your screenshots and just drag them and drop them. I'll do that. Okay. So there's both of there's both of your graphs. Make sure you have everything on there. And this is something you can do that you don't have to do anything freaky with. Um, and that save as name it in Word doc uh, PDF. Put it where you're gonna do it. Export. Okay, so we need to talk about those of you who are using the online app version, not a desktop version. Okay, first thing, if you're using the online version of Office through three through Office 365 and not a desktop version, you have to do things differently. You literally do not have the same features that you do on the desktop. Now, don't freak because you can do the same things. You have to do them differently because you don't have the same features. So this is a graph, an X spreadsheet and graph that was already done in Excel that I demonstrated at length in the help session video. But I want to show you how to do things here. Okay. So this is a fractional composition curve I already had done. Well, Kaushi, the TA, she generated it. But the problem is when you do this graph in the thing, yours is not going to look like this if you follow the directions in the procedure because the procedure was meant to do on a desktop version of Excel on a Windows computer. So you're going to have to do things differently. So first I'm going to show you what you need to do to generate this graph very easily. And when I say very easily, I mean very, very easily. So I want you to click on column F and it, I want you just to click on the part by the F and it's going to highlight that whole row and I want you to right click and I want you to choose insert columns. Okay, that's blank. Uh, we're graphing pH on the x-axis in three different y values. This is y1, y2, y3. So I want you to take that and I want you to click on the B and I want you to do to copy it and then paste it. And what this is going to do is that is going to give you your x I'm going to insert a column here for illustration. You don't have to do this. But that's going to be your x axis. And that's going to be your y1, y2, and y3. Y3. Okay? So that's just why I just want you to know that for when I when I do the graph, okay? I'm going to get rid of it now cuz we're doing graphing here cuz we're, we're scientists, we're graphing. I want you to put your cursor on the F and I want you to hold your mouse down or trackpad. For me, I'm a Mac user, so I'm pressing down on my left how I have my trackpad configuring, configured and I'm running across the rows. Now if you can't do this yourself, I can't, I can't show you how to do it. I can't take a thing of my finger moving on my trackpad. So you need to figure out a way that you can click these and highlight all of them. Once you have them highlighted, I want you to go to your menu and I want you to press insert and I want you to choose scatter and I want you to choose this. Okay. Now, what you see is you see the same exact graph that was already done. The only difference is your graph has, has got nothing. Okay. It's got your series names. So for those of you who were already freaking out because you couldn't get it done in this program, it'll do it for you as long as you have your, your title of your series at the top. 
Okay, so that's one less thing you have to do, but you have all this uh, stuff that's not labeled. So you need to you need to click on here and you've got to give your axes titles. So I want it below and I want P. I just almost called that volume <laughs> like a titration curve. Okay, so boom, now I've got my pH. So instead of clicking places and doing this, you get to actually do it a little bit differently. These titles, oh, I'm so tired. I want it. I honestly don't care how it is. Okay, so this is the alpha value. And because I don't want to spend time to find that value in my thing, I'm just going to put alpha value because that's what that is. Okay, so your graph will automatically scale just like it will anywhere. You've got your labels, you've got your series. Now you have to put your, your putting your, your PKAs and things like that. So go to shape, pick something beautiful. I don't care. There's here, that star. I want that star. <laughs> that star is <laughs> really big. <laughs> Kind of entertains me actually. Ah, oh, I don't, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like that color. I think it's ugly. I don't know why. That blue is just not that that yellow is any good, but it does contrast. Okay, so that's fine. Now go back to insert. And you can't do an insert text box. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you about that, about labeling those, because with this, this online version, it has limitations. So I honestly, you can't make a comment and that's comments out to the side. That's not a comment. That is not, the insert features suck. They really do. Oh. I hate this version. I really do. Okay, so um, for labeling your PKAs, Honestly, I'm just going to, and, and exporting and everything that you need to do. I'm just seeing if it'll actually, <laughs> oh, even the save feature is complete and total crap. So, show printer, printer, fin, printer, print, it won't even do the, it won't even let me click on the current selection. Okay, so honestly, what I would prefer that you do is I want you to click on this button at the top that says open and desktop app. And if you don't have it, you need to get it because you get it for free through the school. Okay, so boom, there it is in the desktop version. Um, in which you can insert a text box. A1, bam. Okay, so, and all the features that we just, wah, that we just talked about, you can do. So it's your choice. If you want to use the, the web version, um, just understand that you're limited on, on what you can do. So, yeah, I closed it out. Now I screwed it up, but all my changes are there. So, Take it as what you will, and y'all figure out your graph, and keep in mind that the work you're doing on Excel right now is going to make you suffer. It may make you cry, but you're in college, and you have to know how to use Word and Excel. It's just going to be a part of your normal ac academic life.